Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Although his father was a decided Unionist, John McKern Jr. of Melrose joined the Confederate Army enlisting in the Equipment Light Artillery in 1861. Many Natchez planters, particularly those who had moved to the area from the north, held pro-Union sympathies, but often their young sons made the decision to fight for the South. Even staunch Unionists, such as Levin, Marshall, and Stephen Duncan, watched as their sons enlisted in the Confederate Army. Douglas Walworth of the Burn once remarked that his father, John, who had been born in New York, could never consider himself to be truly Southern. John McMurrin, Jr. was stationed with his artillery company in Pensacola but was medically discharged within a few short months, having suffered extensive hearing loss. He returned to Natchez with his wife, took up residence at Riverside Plantation on the Mississippi River in Wilkinson County. In 1863, as Union troops moved up the Mississippi River, John and his family returned to Natchez, but eventually they moved to Glencoe, Maryland, to be close with his wife's family. During the war, the McMurrin family's finances were strained, and John McMurrin Sr. borrowed heavily just to make ends meet. In 1864, John Jr., the former Confederate, put on a blue uniform and went to work for the War Department in Washington, D.C., calculating casualty rates for Pennsylvania, the state where his father was born. In his last year wartime letters, John Jr. writes to his wife that he hopes Grant will be successful in putting an end to the war so that he can return to Natchez and once again take up life as a cotton planter. While Grant won the war, John McMurrin did not return to live in Natchez, dying in New York City in 1900. My name is Robert Barker and I'm a park guide at Natchez National Historical Park and that has been your Natchez History Minute.